Hey everybody, Jerry Brother with State Farm here. We're out in the neighborhood visiting our good neighbor, the Patton Museum. Let's go see what they got going on. We're here with Ty. So Ty, tell us a little bit about the Patton Museum. So the Patton Museum is an official U.S. Army Museum. It falls under the Center of Military History, which supports training and education of soldiers in the U.S. Army. We're also open to the general public as a courtesy. Tell us what makes it unique. So the Patton Museum has a really unique uh, mission of teaching leadership, uh, primarily to ROTC cadets that execute their summer training here. We tell a little bit of the history of the whole Army, but most of it's through the lens of leadership. So if you had to pick one exhibit, what's your favorite? My favorite item in the museum is the Sherman tank in the next gallery. Uh, it's the same type and model. My grandfather, uh, native Kentuckian, he was stationed here at Fort Knox during the Korean War and taught uh, driving and gunnery on that same type of vehicle. So I have a lot of good memories as a kid hearing yeah. stories about those. That's awesome. So now we're in front of the Sherman. Yeah. So if you don't mind, tell me what it means to be a good neighbor. Well, good neighbor from the point of the Patton Museum is Fort Knox has been a big part of uh, the history of Kentucky and the history of the United States Army. And uh, we're proud to be a neighbor to this state. And the museum here has been the piece of Fort Knox that I think is over the years has had the most exposure to the people here. Yeah. So we're proud to be that connection between the community and the post um, and that mutual organization that has supported each other so well for so many years. So I've learned a lot today about our neighbors at Pat Museum. Make sure and like and share this video and comment below and let us know what small business we should feature next. We'll see you next time. And be sure to visit us here at the General George Patton Museum in Fort Knox, Kentucky. Things are changing.